Hello everybody and welcome to episode three of Football Manager 2019 with me, Mark Goldbridge, and Aston Villa, the career mode. Um, very interesting stream yesterday. I think we won seven games with no goals conceded in the league. So absolutely fantastic with that. And we move on and we will have a Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Manchester City on this. But d don't believe me. Don't believe me. That's up to you. We'll, we'll actually prove it right now. What have we got coming up? Where are we in the league and all that? Jazz. So, in the league, as you can see on the left there, we are topped by three points. What a run we've been on. And if we look at the fixtures, we got uh, Millwall away. Ooh, don't, we won't be taking any away fans there. They'll get beat up. Then we've got Swansea at home, Norwich away, QPR away, and Man City at home. So it's a tough, tough run of fixtures there. We've got uh, three away games in our next four league games. But we've not conceded a goal for a while. That's always a positive. Um, is that a new trim I see, says Jags? It is. We've got the old track in there as well. That is the right side, I think, as well. The old shaved track. In his late 30s, but he's still blinging it with the kids. But uh, no, it needed a cut. It needed a cut. Right, Mourinho unhappy with the Gomez loan agreement. Manchester United, up yours, Mourinho. I love all this. I'm going to talk with Mourinho. Manchester United manager, Jose Mourinho, hold a conversation to discuss a lack of first-team football. Right, Mourinho. I don't feel that you're giving Gomez enough first-team football, considering the fact he was loaned to you to be a first-team regular. Gomez is already featured in a team reason for that. I think the current level of football he's getting is acceptable. I don't agree with you. He hasn't been getting the agreed level of football. I thought you would be able to recognise this. Uh, we're clearly having different opinions. I'm really unhappy that you're unwilling to set the current level of football he's getting. Isn't what we agreed. I have to think twice about loading your players in the future if you don't fulfil our agreement. I've already told you my opinion, and however and however many times you ask me to change it, my viewpoint will remain unchanged. Piss off, Mourinho. That's basically it. Don't take me on. You're going to get sacked soon. Uh, Al Mahadi has been called up to the Egypt team. Well done for him. Um, and looking 10 years younger, says Jags. I must look about 15 now. Don't be looking at me like that. It's still an offence. Um, scouting meeting. I'm not interested in your rubbish scouting meetings, to be honest with you. I know what I've got. I've got a great setup of young players. I've got some people on loan. I'm happy. When's my next game? Millwall. We go on a game against Millwall on Saturday. So Millwall were playing tonight. I think they were playing. I think they were playing Forest. Ooh, ooh. Don't want to be saying stuff like that. I think they were playing Forest though. So let's have a look at what the result is if it comes through. Dragging a little bit, isn't it? Uh, they drew 2-2 do, two, two with Forrest away. We're still top. We're still top. That's what it's all about. I should have skipped through a bit further, shouldn't I? So that we could just come straight into the stream and have a match against Millwall. That was my mistake. But Millwall are 19th in the league. So um, still no place for Adoma. Oh, I thought I had given him some game. Oh, I didn't want him to be injured. Bloody hell. And he just bought him. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Top of the league. Says Jags. I keep noticing him. Watching Goldbridge whilst listening to Naz. Says Haddison Stevens. Mark, what do you think of Madrid's game last night? Thoroughly enjoyed it. You get what you say. I just think there's a, a funny, funny element when... Um, Ramos gets himself booked in the first leg so he's not suspended for the quarterfinals and he won't even be in it. So we've got an easy win predicted. Uh, we'll send John Terry for the uh, uh, press conference. I don't need to be doing that sort of crap. I've got better things to do with my time. Uh, Dilat is injured. He's on loan anyway. So not, not too worried about that. Ex-Manchester United. Have you found left back cover, says Steve. I've got a young lad called Mitch Clark who can play that position, but it's not ideal, to be honest with you. Keep them happy. Keep the players happy and the rest will flow. I've never been. I've never been to Newcastle. I've never been to Newcastle, to be honest. Praise Axel. Nine point five five in training. That's probably the highest I've ever seen in training. Crit Criticise him. 
I need you to start. I want to bring Keenan Davis into the squad. He's a good, uh, good young talent. He is very, very, very good. Come on, we want we, we want to play a game. Stop with all these nonsense emails. Can't I get a secretary to do me emails? Mad Marcus. Ah, that's, that's lovely, that is. Nice peppermint tea at lunchtime, on your lunch break. A bit of football manager. i tell you what, I deserve a... Up the gold bridge, says Jazz Dill. I deserve a clap on the back, really. A clap on the back, not a pat on the back. Have you never heard of a clap on the back? Basically, someone stands behind you, right up next to your back and does that. I meant pat on the back. But I do deserve one, because um, I've been really tempted to play this because it's going so well but I have actually stayed quiet and not played it right Let's have a look. So, where's my left back gone? Where is my left back gone? Don't do this to me when we're bloody live. Where's Neil Taylor gone? That was a bit weird. Right. This is, um... This is weird. I thought I'd... Why would I have made so many changes? Help me people at home. I don't remember having this many changes last time. Maybe I rested a couple of players. Maybe that's what I did. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But I obviously did it. Get it on. Goldbridge Inn says Sancho Elite. And I like your name as well. I like the name Sancho Elite. So, we haven't conceded a goal since Christ was born. And that's that's uh, controversial. Um, and if you're an atheist. And um, we've won, I've, I've forgotten how many games in a row we've won in the league. I don't know. We rested players for Preston, says Kieran R. Well done. Well remembered. Well remembered. So. We're, so, we're surely going to concede a goal at some point. Hurahan to McGinn. Oh, should have been 1-0 up. Thoughts on Sancho last night, says Callum B. You know what? I said it last night on the watch along if people didn't watch it. Um, I just think it's ridiculous when people are saying, oh, Sancho's not worth the money. Go oh, what a miss. What a miss that was. How did he bloody miss that? Twat. Um, we're all over these. Like a fat kid on cake. Um, Jaden Sancho, I think a lot of people are judging him on Champions League performances. Go and watch him play for Dortmund and see what he's all about this season because if you're going to judge somebody on Champions League performances... Think of the club that you support or think of English clubs in the Champions League. And does Paul Pogba dominate games in the Champions League? Does Lionel... Well, Messi's a bad example, but, you know, the top players, Lewandowski against Liverpool, was he brilliant? No. The Champions League is, like the, is the creme de la month, isn't it? It's the top, top echelon um, of, of, of football. So we might be about to concede. Oh, we still haven't conceded. I almost want us to concede just to get that thing out of the way but um, yeah so look Jaden Sancho is a very very good player but people say oh he's not worth it because he had an average game against Spurs in the Champions League Champions League is, is top of the pops half time at 0-0 nil -nil.
John Terry always wants me to tell people off. Um, I'm gonna. Have to make a sub here. Should have done it at half time. McGinn looks knackered. So we'll bring Glenn Whelan on. Yannick Balassi's having a terrible game. So I'm going to bring Chong on. Bring on Gomez, says Daps. I haven't got Gomez even on the bench at the moment. And the reason I haven't got Gomez on the bench is because you can only have so many youth players, uh, low knee players in your match day squad. And I've already got Twan CB is a low knee. Uh, Chong is a low knee. Abraham's a low knee. Neil Taylor's looking exhausted. Um, let's make a sub. Alan Hutton's going to have to play there. Not ideal. We just we're just not conceding goals. This is the thing with this. We're not conceding goals. We're not playing very well either, though. Bloody hell! Look at how low the scores are. Six point six, six point fours. Not a bad result to draw away from home. It's looking like it's going to be a draw. Yeah. A draw it is. A draw at Millwall. A little bit lethargic, but we still haven't conceded a goal. I, 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 we need a stato. We need, we need a stato in the live comments because I don't even know the last time now. Al Mahadi doesn't want to be rested. That's fine. You know, if you wanted a rest, I'll give you a rest. He doesn't want to rest. I'm not going to force it upon you, mate. Kinto reckons Mason Greenwood's going to score tonight for United. I'm massively excited about that game for Manchester United tonight. I don't think we're going to win. I don't think any United fan really thinks we will win. But what I would say is that we have an opportunity. We've just set a new defensive record. There you go. Aston Villa, eight games without conceding from Friday the 31st of August is a new team record. There you go. Eight games and Pankaj has just confirmed it. Eight games without conceding a goal. That is something that I don't really want to be uh, associated with. It's the sort of thing... Jose Mourinho would knock himself out with his hard on would be that big. He'd knock his chin out. But for me, it's not really what I want my legacy to be. But eight games without conceding, that's pretty impressive. You won't see that very often on Football Manager. I tell you, you won't. You won't. You just won't. Donovan Cruz has used the training session. The training session's just set for me. I don't need to do anything with the training session. What? What do I, what would I want to do? What do I need to do? Everything's already set. You need to give me more than that. Um, get in the Premier League, says Sean Mullen. That is the challenge. We've got some... Villa are a good challenge to take on, actually, if you are going to play Football Manager, because I don't like to just take a Premier League club over in Football Manager. It's not like FIFA. I don't mind doing a career mode with Man United in FIFA, but in Football Manager... I think the whole immersive experience is like, that's why I tried it with Salford. I like to get people promoted. So Villa, they give you no money, which is always a challenge, but also they've got some good young players as well. So it's a good challenge, the old uh, Villa job. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. 720 minutes and counting without conceding a goal, says Tom Brownbridge. New ha haircut marks says silent but deadly. Yes. And uh, the training schedule looks fine. Um, Mark is walk is the special one says Ramakrashin. It's going very well at the moment. It's going very well at the moment. Um, and Wout's Gaming has just started a Sunderland one, which is which is good. I've got loads of things in my emails there. 
Mark just went to lead in the whole season in my FIFA 19 career mode, says Davian Frances. Was that on amateur level? Uh, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a child. I'm a brother. They're all. They're giving me all good prospects, but I've got no bloody money. Oh, Unai Emery. Talk with Unai Emery. Bloody hell, he's a boring prat. At least he's been real. Another young lad injured. Uh, just having the best squad doesn't necessarily make uh, a huge amount of difference in Football Manager, as we saw with the Salford thing. <clears throat> if you don't have a good formation like I didn't in my first few weeks, you will get beat. A lot of it, a lot of this success is down to the fact that um, I'm brilliant at this game, and and haters are gonna hate. Uh, you know they are gonna hate. But the last game was nil nil, Luca with Millwall. We still haven't conceded a bloody goal. We should have scored as well. It was a bloody sitter for whoever. First versus second in the championship. Look. Oh, look at that next game. Oh, let's play that back. Got too many low knees. That's the problem. That sheaf from Arsenal is actually a good low knee, but it's getting them involved in the team. It's a pain in the backside at the moment trying to do it. I want to get Gomez involved as well. Uh, I got sacked by Salford, Sajid. Afternoon, Oliver Hopgood. And uh, hi, Mark. What's happening in episode three? I think we're stuck in a bloody international break, to be honest, because we haven't played in a, a while. We've done one game with Millwall, and that was nil-nil. And now we've got first versus second against Swansea at Villa Park. Will I get manager of the month? Probably. Probably we'll get manager of the month. Well, no, we're only halfway through October, aren't we? I haven't watched Sunderland till I die yet, no. Guarantee you're going to concede, says Thomas Almerd. Almerd! Well, you got to concede at some point. Lucas says, if you were the Man United manager, what would you say to the players before the PSG game? Well, it's funny you say that, because I... Um, I tweeted it about an hour ago that I think, you know, I don't I don't think many Man United fans expect us to win tonight, but we could win tonight. But if we did win, it would be one of the most significant European nights of our history, although we've had a lot better, but it would be quite significant because of the circumstances. 2-0 down, two away goals, most of the team injured. But tonight, more important than anything, I would be saying to the players, tonight's the night where you can define the rest of your football career. You can play tonight and lose and maybe you end up out on loan and you don't make it. But if you win tonight, then Scott McTominay, Pereira, Delo, Fred, you could be United players for the next 10 years of your life. Um, that is the opportunity. Who's your Shodapu equivalent in this team? AKA the Vanarama Pogba, says Nick P. I don't think we've quite found them yet. I don't think we've quite found them yet. I, Tilly Bobs, he says he's worried for tonight. I can't see us winning. We've got nothing to lose. That oh, there's the the odds are stacked up massively against us. Absolutely huge. Um, there should be no expectation that we're going to win this game at all. But it's a game of football at the end of the day, and anything can happen. But we're massive, massive underdogs. Of course we are. Why does everyone forget that PSG have got a good defence and cannot take them lightly? We did the same in the first leg. Hey Naz, you're right. You're absolutely right. Angel Gomez. Okay. Hurahan's injured. Great. You're going to pick up injuries. And at least Real Madrid are out, says Carter. Yeah. And at least Arsenal were never in it. There is always a positive. Danny Brown says he'd take a loss so he can focus on top four. I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't. I would love to be going through. I know it's another two games, but I would love to go through. So I'm not going to be one of those people who say, oh, it's, it's good to be out. Of course, it's not good to be out. Um, but 
it's interesting. Obviously, I'll be doing the watch along on the United stands. We'll be live from around seven o'clock with the team news, all the way through till full time. Really excited about it. Um, it's a European night at the end of the day. Not everybody gets to play in the Champions League. Algarsi injured as well. I hate the international breaks on Football Manager. It takes so bloody long to get through them. If we can win the FA Cup and secure fourth or even third, I'll be happy, says Ryan. Exactly. I get a bit. This is what tires me out with Football Manager. It's all this crap. Oh no, Tammy Abraham. This is bloody Salford all over again. Your best bloody striker. Out again. Bloody injury curse. Oh, that's not good. Right before this game as well. Oh. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate for us. Hmm. So Tammy Abraham's out, which means, well, Abraham's loss will be Angel Gomez's game. But I'm not going to play Angel Gomez, don't worry. I'm not I'm not I'm not stupid, but I will be using Angel Gomez on the bench we'll play Codger um, yeah play Chong up front Steve he had a red tiny little bit on the circle you can't play him up front when he's like that Go, top of the table clash, first versus second. We've not conceded a goal in eight games. Is what something's got to give unless we win one, two, or three nil, and then we're fine. Has anyone else got a bad feeling about this stream today? Yesterday's was so perfect. I, I just don't I'm not feeling it today. Top of the table clash. Who've they got? Montero? Fair. It's a free kick. And it's a red card. Oh, the bloody ref. The bloody ref has done us in. Oh, you can't believe it. A red card. Well, that is significant because... We're down to 10 men. Not getting the excuses in. Jizzed returns is right. Do a bit of time wasting. Are we going to make a chance here, even though we've got 10 men? 
Oh, we had a chance. We got a chance. Now it's Swansea. This could be it. This could be the goal. This could be the goal. It is. We finally conceded a goal. Oh, we knew it was going to happen. Eight and a half games. Hit the post. The referee has done us. The referee has done us in. Why have you gone very defensive? Let's try the United lads. Gomez and Chong on. I don't think it's going to help. Two nil. What a load of crap. When it rains, it pours. We're going to have to change. We're going to have to make a change here. We're going to get smashed. We're, we're going to get smashed anyway. We may as well concede five rather than anything else. The ref is corrupt, says Craig Waterburn. And the ref, the ref cost us this game. What, what point did he get sent off? About 20 minutes in. Absolute disgrace. Top of the table clash. Um, Tammy Abraham gets injured the day before. And then 20 minutes in, you get a man sent off. Don't tell me that Football Manager 9 hasn't got scripting. Should have scored there. Useless. Useless. You sodden Useless. Three nil. What was the penalty for then? Oh, fuck yours. Fuck yours. This ref's shit. What, what was the penalty for then? The cross was made. It was off the ball. Don't you don't get off the ball fouls in Football Manager nineteen. Oh, Chester went off injured, so we're down to nine men because I've used all my subs. Oh, for God's sake. It's given another penalty. I give up. I give up. So we're down to nine men. He's given two penalties for God knows what. We've got nine men. We've got two defenders. We've had a man sent off. I know that I know the formation's wrong, Tony, but I really don't give a shit about the formation because we've been out what's the point? What's the bloody point? There's no bloody point. Just get the game over.
Six one. Six one. Not conceding has been well and truly blasted, Mark Robinson. You're right. <sighs> oh, two. <laughs> we still managed to score two goals with nine men. Well played, Alma Hadi there. We're down to nine men, everybody. And you say rest in peace, your goal difference. Well, 4 0 with nine men's not bad. I mean, the goal difference is 4 0. Didn't see that coming after seven clean sheets. Sack Goldridge before he uses the wind as an excuse, as Daniel A. I think I'll, I think what I'll use as an excuse is the fact that um... oh, I've got a centre back out for five to six weeks. We've lost him for a week. I'm going to attend this press conference. Why can't I just say something about the bloody ref? See, I don't like VAR. Yes, that will do. The referee. Be a bit controversial. Do a Venga. You should just be able to say the referee is an idiot. The ref is a shambles, says Pankaj. VR is going to be one of the worst things to happen to football, trust me, says Luca. I think last night it showed... I think the, the big thing about VAR, taking it away from what I'm doing here, is that... Um, we... Um, if you're in the ground, you're out of the conversation about VAR. It just plays to people who are watching it on telly at home. But I don't like VAR, I've never liked it. Uh, the table, we are now down to second because we lost the top of the table clash. But we've got a three-point gap on Sheffield United and Birmingham. But if they win their games, they'll be it'll be tight at the top. Be tight at the top. We lost that game because we had uh, we had a man sent off and a player go off injured. We'll we'll, we'll adapt. We'll adapt. That's what we do at. Uh, Goldbridge United and uh, we've got Norwich away we bounce back in the championship I said anyone can beat anyone um, VAR is in football manager once you hit your second season marks is Michael Fraser that's always been my problem <laughs> I always get the sack so we've drawn one and lost one I just I think streams do get into a groove don't they yesterday nothing could go wrong today We've got that Man City get 30,000 quid for playing Man City in the Carabao Cup. That's all. Give me some more money than that. Give me some more peas than that.
When's Man City mark, says Sean. Um, we'll get to the Man City game, but uh, I think I think it's the one after the one after next. A lot of people asking me about FIFA. I don't, I don't know. I might play it again, I might not. It's my life. I don't really have a lot of passion to go back and play FIFA, if I'm honest with you. It just pissed me off. So I will do it. I might do it tomorrow, but I'm not making any promises. I'm enjoying this at the moment. I'm enjoying this. I think Madri I think Mourinho going back to Madrid, Yobshi, would be stupid on his part, but he has got a massive ego. But I think Mourinho should be looking to go to Inter in, in the Italian league because there'll be a lot more patience there. If he goes to Real Madrid, he's a divisive man, and as soon as they get a bad result, everyone will turn on him. But, you know, oh, I've been warned by the FA. Well, I wasn't really talking about the red card. I was pissed off in general with the refereeing of the match. That's my thought. That's my thought process. Yeah, so I think we've got Norwich away, QPR away, and then we've got... Um, We've got the game against City. You can't swear in a press conference. No. I wish you could, Amy. But although, I, I, I'm a. Uh, mine to Mike says, Mark, only play FIFA if you want to. Just a suggestion. Exactly. That's what will happen. If I feel the urge to play it, I will play it and I will stream it. But I haven't played it probably, I don't know, whenever the last stream was on here, I haven't played it. I just I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. Aston Villa player names in Team of the Week. Codger, good. Pre-match tactical briefing, handle briefing. I think we'll have to go a little bit balanced in this game. They're being moody. Great. Moody team. Just what you need when you need to bounce back. Moody bastards. That's what we don't need. Right, I'm going to have to play. James Chester's injured. I have got a centre-back on loan. Sheaf. But McGinn is out. So we're going to have to play Glenn Whelan. And where's Lansbury? Now oh, I think we might have too many low needs. Three, six, five. Oh no, we might be all right. We might be all right. You're only allowed five in it. I thought I had five in it. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That'll do. See what they can do. Shot of poo, says T-Gun90. We're in a bad bit of form at the moment, losing 6-2 to Swansea. Drew with Millwall. We've not actually won on this stream so far, but we are still top of the league. 
Oh, how did you miss that, Codger and Balassi? Bloody idiots. But we started off the better team. Taylor, get in, Balassi. I told you he was good. Fifth goal of the season for him. Taylor with the cross. Headed back by Kodja and Balassi. Lovely stuff. We're 1-0 up. Norwich have started badly. We're not actually picking up that many yellow cards really, Ramakrishan. We've started off well in this game though. 2-0. Balassi and Kodja. They're, they're combining like... Um, I'm trying to think of a good combination. I, I, I'm stuck. Who provides a lot of goals for somebody? We need to think of a saying for that. 2-0 up against Norwich. Lovely stuff. Oh, yeah, we've got it back. This is this is the real Goldbridge Villa. Grealish. Codger, good save. We're only 25 minutes in and we're comfortable in this game. Beans on toast, says Kevin Norman. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Cheese and pickle, says Craig. Lovely. Shodapoo and Rooney, Nick P. Yeah, I miss them. York and Cole. Chuckle Brothers, says Zach. Well, I'm just pleased that we bounced back. And we're playing Norwich, which for anyone who gets the joke, Alan Partridge, well, we've bounced back. We're playing Norwich and we've bounced back. So, um, which is great to see because I was very worried after that Swansea game. But um, we needn't have been worried. 3-0! Grealish! It's over! It's over! It's over! And it's not even half-time. Jack Grealish, it's over. We can make... This means we can bring Chong on in the second half as well. It's over. What a way to bounce back. Lovely stuff. Mahadi off because he's knackered. Grealish just killed the game, says Daps. Yeah, we're comfortable now. We're three 0 up. We ain't gonna blow this. But this is this is what this team's all about: bounce back ability, bounce back ability. Get absolutely smashed because of a ref, and then go away to Norwich and thrash them. Get to Heath Chong and Gomez on. Oh, I thought they were going to score there. Be nice to get back on the clean sheet train. Do not let this slip now, says Silent but Deadly. Give give men players some rest. Yep. Be nice to see Gomez and Chong get a goal, wouldn't it? Nigel, I'm not from Kent, no. Dark Zero says 1 3 to Manchester United or PSG 5 0. <sighs> well, I'm just happy that we've won this game. I think you've got to put PSG as favourites tonight. I don't think any United fan isn't putting them as favourites, but. You know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's a goal! Codger! Fourth goal of the season. It comes from Taylor's cross. 4 0. We've actually reversed the goal difference that we lost against Swansea. 6 2. 4 0 here. This team means business. Goldbridge means business. 
and it's another clean sheet as well. The one game blip is over. Codger has a foot like a traction engine, says Nick P. I'll tell you what, Codger's come in and done very well. He's done very well. <laughs> Applause from me. There is a... Daniel Clark, what planet are you on? He says, um, is there a watch along tonight? There's a watch along for every Manchester United game. That's how it works. That'll be on the United stands, though. Delia Smith's going to be furious, says Craig Warburton. Yep. She'll be pissed up on that pitch, going absolutely mad, chucking bottles at people, swearing. It's not going to be a pretty sight. Let's get out of Norwich and get back up the old... Uh, back up to Brum, which is Birmingham, for people who don't know anything about it, which is where Aston Villa are from, which people may not know either. Oh, bore me. Bore me, bore me. So we've got QPR away and then we've got Man City at home. So two massive games. Massive. That's a normal day for Delia, says Mark Robinson. What's the Premier League table looking like, Mark? Says Ben Mann. We can have a look at that. We can, have, we can certainly have a look at that as well. Look at that. City beating Valencia 1-0 in the old... Uh, Champions League. So a big few days for us. Uh, we're top by one point. Swansea obviously drop points. But if you look at the world, Premier Division, Liverpool top, Arsenal, Man City, United, all quite tight. Very tight. Very, very tight indeed. Norwich is not across from Birmingham, Gary. If you look across from Birmingham, Norwich is further down. Let's get down to back down London anywhere. We're going to play. Tap games, would you marry me? No, it would be illegal. I'm already married. And predictions on United tonight. I'm going to go 2-1 to, to PSG. Where are you? Let's be having you. That's what she said. That's what she said. Oh, what? McGinn's been given another two matches. Oh, no. That's our first choice keeper. That's why we get so many clean sheets. I'm not going to give him an injection because we need him for the... You know how he's pulled his ligaments in his wrist as well. I want him to play against the Man City. Antoine Sebi again is the man when it comes to training effort. Right, if we can get a win against QPR, this would be a very, very good result. So we've got QPR and then we've got Man City in the cup. So we're probably going to get knocked out of that, to be honest. But fitness tests. Oh, he's all right anyway. Didn't need an, uh, didn't need an opera. Didn't need a, uh, um, anything. So, pretty much can go with the same team, I think. 
Although, on the bench, we haven't really got a striking option, have we? We, uh, we need one. Who have I got? I could use Davis. Phil. No, I don't do that. Keenan Davis. Come on down. Teams are warming up. Let's get in dressing room. Team talk. Let's have a look, another chat with Codger because that worked last time. Didn't didn't work this time. So QPR in fifth. We're in top, and um, we're away from home. So potentially quite a difficult game. But we'll see how we get on. Mark, when will you go back on the kickoff with True Geordie again, says Kieran McCrory? Spam him and get him to get ask me on. His big, biggest views he's ever had on a kickoff was when I was on it, so I would hope that there might be a re-invite in there, but uh, I can't just I can't just turn up. That's not how it works. They just they just wouldn't let me in. Anyway, eyes on the game, people. Keeper is carrying an injury mark. I'm not talking to myself there. He's got a mark. I could have used Hogan. Terry Adama! Adoma! Lovely finish as well. Lovely stuff. Well, 1-0 up. Praise them, praise them, praise them, praise them. Praise this Aston Villa side. Balassi should have scored then. We could have done with that second goal. Yes, it's a goal, says Kieran. Get in, says Pankaj. Why wouldn't he let you in, says CM Gamer? Oh, it's one all. It's Naki Wells. Of all the people, it's bloody Naki Wells. Never heard of him. Naki Wells took it well. Pardon the pun. Unstoppable. And he's onside. Half time. John Terry always says, tell the team that their performance was disappointing. I, I, I disagree. I don't think it was bad. Although he's right. Give John Terry some juice. Used to play for Bad Bradford, Naki Wells, says Dabs. Right. I'm going to make a double substitution here. I'm going to try the new lad, Keenan Davis. You've heard the name first. He's a good young talent at Aston Villa. It might be a game too soon for him, but let's see. Let's see. Two one, Grealish. Two one. He's no Benito Carboni, but he's Jack Grealish. Lonely the goalkeeper could be, could be a big, uh, big, big goal for us. That Elmer Hadi's going to have to come off. He's only he's barely getting through games at the moment, and I can't really take Twan Sebi off. Although he looks absolutely knackered, and uh, I'm going to bring Lansbury on. I'd be happy with a point here, to be honest. 
I'll be happy with a point. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're having a laugh. How does that go in there? That's terrible defending. Look at this. Oh, God. Own goal. Kicks it against Twan Sebi and goes in. That's my fault for saying I'd be happy with the point. You got Todger out and it makes a difference, says Nick P. Got an injured goalie as well. Sometimes just take a point. Should have scored that. Blas is shit. For the quality he is, he's shit. Full time, a, a point it is. A point it is. Get a point, Mark, says Rad Magon. Own goal, jo goal as well. I'm not going to the press conference. So, we got a game against Man City now in the Carabao Cup. Some would say it's a. Uh, it's a forlorn task, but ultimately it is a game of football and it's a chance to be... We're out of form at the moment, though. that's the problem. balassi has got no end product, says RTG. Exactly. Absa bloody exactly. Hey, buddy, let's get the win tonight, says Jacob Hallback. Yeah, looking forward to it. You can join me on the United stand for that. Um, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be an interesting game. Philip Cassidy. Yes, I did. If you look at all the kickoffs for football, the one with me on it is the biggest they've ever had. So check your facts. Seeing is believing, so you better grab your specs. Oh, I've got to go to the pre-match press conference. Uh, your Aston Villa team have defied the odds to reach this stage ahead of the clash. How much further do you think you can go? Uh, I'd rather concentrate on preparing rather than talking about it. Some people have labelled your team as giant killers. Are you confident of pulling up in the set? Man City are a good team. Um, what are your thoughts on playing a team the size and stature of Man City? How do I submit that then? Well, that's no good. And it lets you, uh, it lets you put something, but it doesn't let you submit it. They have no history and are built on oil. I want to submit that. Why won't it let me do it? Why, won't, why does it let you type then, but then it won't let you do it? Storm out. <laughs> oh, lose another player now. It's all stacking up. I don't get why it lets you type in. It's for online use, Mark, says Krista. Okay. Mika Richards, he's rubbish anyway. Come on then, let's be having ya. Let's be having ya.
imagine if you could say they've got no history they're built on oil they're going to smash me aren't they I mean we, I wish we could have played them on the last stream because we were in a good vein of form there but I think injuries and fatigue have sort of cut up with us a little bit So many bloody strikers. Right, let's handle the briefing. I can do that. Uh, I think we'll go with a, a cautious approach. Yeah. They're not interested. They're all bloody apathetic, overpaid plonkers, aren't they? So, who's injured? Adoma. You can't win. You can't win anyway. Oh. Did I just see that they've put out a weakened team? So, Jesus, Mares, Silva, Gundogan, Diaz, Vigal, Hector, Laporte, Otamende. They look, they look a little bit of a weakened team and Balassi puts us 1-0 ahead. They looked like they've gone a bit of a weakened team. Unless they've got rid of a load of players. Don't know. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. I think they have gone with a weakened team, haven't they? Come on, Villa. Let's produce something amazing. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, good tackle. Go on, Chongi. He's got to score that. That was a simple chance. It's bloody Balassi again. In on one on one. And Gabriel Hazes has just bloody scored. How does he score from there? Look at that joke. Two one, Vigal. Uh, Jacob Holbach says, "Hey, buddy, let's get the win tonight." If Balassi scored that goal when we're one nil up, we would have been two nil up, and now we're two one out, two one down. It's frustrating.
Try and up the tempo. We've had more chances than them. We've had more chances than them. See if we can get one. Come on, Mark. You can do it. This is Radmagun. It's out of my hands. I've sent the team out to do the job, but we're just not creating chances. Let's go attacking. City going to get over the line here. 2-1. How bloody frustrating is that? Just one chance more. Although they've gone up a level now. They've had more shots than me. And that's it. We lose 2-1. But at least we can focus on the league, says Craig Rickett. Exactly. Exactly. Acts a bloody exactly. Give him a bit of encouragement. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. And a bit of an up and down stream that one. A bit of an up and down one. But we are still only a point off the top. The race is on. Of course it is for the t to get promotion. That's what it's all about. Um, Rumours that Greenwood is starting to triple eight. I'd be absolutely surprised if he is. But you never know. You never know. Uh, join me tonight at 7 o'clock on the United Stand for the watch along for PSG versus Manchester United. I cannot wait for that. And we'll be back tomorrow around this time half past one with episode four of the Aston Villa football manager career mode smash a like subscribe if you're new really enjoying it you know yesterday's stream was flawless wasn't it reality bites a little bit more today but uh, still going well thanks everyone for watching and uh, I really enjoyed it and I'll speak to you soon